morning welcome here it's getting cold hey man so this is day seven of the axe restoration just three more days to go that's so crazy today we are working on axes all from west germany so martin is going to relish this day compared to all the other days and uh, let's go see what those axes look like so these all are west germany axes We've got, it, this is uh, tough to see on this one. Uh, let's see if there's one that you can actually read better. Yeah, that one made in West Germany. For some reason, when I dropped all the axes on the table, maybe you'll know why, this one was the first one that I'm like, I am so excited about this one. This is like the biggest, chunkiest Hudson Bay style axe. So this one is um, three and a half pounds. This one is three and a half as well. And I think this is two and a half, uh, nope, two and a quarter. Let's get into the grinder room and start cleaning these up. Just gently wire wheeled it and really wire wheeled the back to try to blend it in. You know, I'm not quite sure about it. Like there's definitely this feeling of just leaving this one raw that I like about it for some reason. So I just gave it a little bit of oil just to see what this finish would look like. And I'm, I'm happy with it. It's a nice finish. Clean that up in there. That's the three and a half. This side is not really legible, but it says West Germany in there. Just leaving this one with all the extreme texture and rough edges. Back is cleaned up. The front is really, really sharp. Ah, oh, Timothy. Oh. Yikes, that was really dumb. Just kind of cut. Uh, no, I'm gonna be okay. Just, just about poke through. Yikes, I did that yesterday too. All right. This one I'm gonna wire wheel. I'm gonna clean it up real nice. We'll do some profile work and sharpen it up. It'll be a really nice ax. So uh, I just got it wire wheeled up here. And uh, you can tell that these Germans, they just don't care about the work that they do by how rough that is. I mean, look how rough that is. Like, I mean, you would think that they would actually... <laughs> do you have something you want to say, Martin? <laughs> yeah, that's a mean thing to say, but I just had to poke at you a little bit. Whoa, he's got an ax in his head. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah, you're just checking it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to start uh, grinding this guy down. Just got this finished up here. Really happy on how that has turned out. Looking really nice. Let me show you how sharp this thing is. So this is a little test I like to do just to show how sharp the axe is. I'll take a big chunk. Let's do one more because that was too much fun. I'm going to take a bigger chunk. This is, this is meaty. Ooh, that's a lot. Wow. Let's get a handle on that guy, Mr. West German over there. Are you from West Germany? So does this bug you that it's from West Germany or you're okay with it? So there's been a little bit of a development here. This is the third ax. So if you look at it here, it looks pretty good. And look what happened on this side. It's so thin on the left side, this side here, 
that when somebody was hammering on the back here, because it was so thin, it actually started to collapse itself on here. That probably happened because it was set bad, but the wood still would not be able to handle that. I am very sad to say that this is going to be a write-off. This is not going to be an axe that I'm going to send out that you can use because that's not cool. So I guess that means there's only going to be two axes coming out today instead of three. Okay, that was a fast forward version to get these guys done, hey? It's, um, it's not a joke to be trying to put out this much work in one day and a video for YouTube daily, daily uploads. Uh, usually when you do daily uploads, your work is not fixed to the day. So when you have to have X amount of work done and a video, it's very, very busy. Anyways, I don't know if you care about that. We're working hard. But let me tell you about this West German one here. This thing would be an absolute beast for splitting wood. This would be the best one out of the whole entire lot so far for splitting wood. I want to go split some wood with that and I'm not a wood guy. Man. So this is the, uh, the one that I cleaned up, three and a half pound. This is a 35 inch handle. And if you want to split wood slash have an ax, this is the one. This is just, it's just beefy. It really, really is. That is a really, really cool tool. This one would be a beast for splitting too. Look at that. This one I feel like is forged a little rougher. It's a little bit more irregular, but I like it. I'm glad we went with that finish. I think it's just dynamite. That's the lineup for today. It was uh, unfortunate that we lost that one ax, but that is the way it is. These are available on the website, timothydick.com. Take a look. I got some other ones available there. Everyone who has purchased, thank you so much. I super appreciate the support. It's day, end of day seven, right? No, day six. I don't know what day we're on. I'm confused. My world is one with axes and videos and getting everything done. Martin, what axe day are we on right now today? Like in real life? Is this the end of day seven or day six? Oh, I can't remember. The German day, baby, day six. I thought I did day six yesterday. Are we off? No, 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 no. Eight. Yeah, week, yeah, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday, yeah. Wednesday. It's delayed a day though because of this entire world. Okay, so this is officially the end of day seven. Tune in tomorrow because tomorrow we're picking up another three axes, fireman axes. Make sure to tune in. Until we see you then, remember to keep that forge lit, hey? Bye for now. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? All right, over and out.